Hello, the following is a basic tutorial on how to use the BioGrid Network Viewer. When looking at a standard BioGrid result page, you can get to the Network View by choosing the Network tab, which is found in the Switch View menu. Once in the network, uh, you'll see a set of nodes and edges representing interaction. Your query node, in this case DFR1, will be the large red one in the uh, middle. All the other nodes and edges will have various different sizes, colors, and shapes, all of which are defined in the graph legend found under the help menu. So you can uh, check that out for all the different colors and sizes. The network itself is fully interactable. You can click and drag on a node or you can select a set of nodes and move them at once. So this is using the left mouse click. You can drag a node around or you can use a, a selection box by dragging your left click mouse around a set of nodes and you can also maneuver, uh, move those all at once. You can also click uh, left click on any edge uh, to bring up a pop-up displaying the evidence for that edge. So then here's what one would look like. In the top left corner are some tools for panning and zooming. Uh, you can zoom the network in and out. Uh, you can use the panning tool to change the direction of it. And if at any point you want to return to the, uh, the center, you can simply, simply uh, click on the fit to page button and it'll bring everything back to normal. You can also export the, next, uh, the network um, under the file menu. We have a export to PNG. If you click that you'll be prompted uh, for where you want to save the file to your computer. You can manipulate the, the network by toggling on and off uh, a set of filters. Right now we, uh, we have physical, genetic, and chemical. So if you want to hide the physical experiments you can uh, click that and the yellow lines will disappear and similar for the genetic ones the green ones will disappear we have no chemicals in this network uh, view so no point clicking that one you can uh, also in addition to the filters set a minimum evidence threshold uh, in this case it, it defaulted to one there are a few cases where this will not be the case where um, we have to pick a higher evidence because of the size of the network. It would uh, crash your browser if we selected it to one or the performance would be really, really bad um, and you wouldn't be able to do anything. But uh, in this, uh, if you wanted to change it, you can just you know, select whatever you want your evidence cut off to be. And here you'll notice that uh, if you click on any of these edges, they will have at least um, um, five pieces of evidence. So that is what the threshold requirement is. Uh, and you can change that to whatever you want. With the visible nodes, you can also manually uh, change the layout by choosing uh, one of the following. We use concentric circles as a default. You can also do circular, a grid, or arbor layout. And these layouts are only performed on the visible nodes. So you can come in here and change your threshold, um, and then you can select uh, a layout and it'll uh, reposition it only according to the visible set. So for each node uh, you can uh, bring a, a context menu up by using the right click button not the left click. Um, so using the right click button you can bring up a context menu and inside the context menu you can do things like show the neighbors for that uh, selected node. You can remove the node. You can uh, get no details for that. It'll pop up a little uh, box with some information about it. And you can uh, also do circular searching with this by clicking the display network. This would then um, 
change the network over and make the the one you had selected in this case not one uh, the new query uh, gene so that's how you can you know do circular searching and browse through different uh, networks um, so that is uh, the end of the, the tutorial uh, you can also check out our usability tips and frequently asked questions uh, for further information. Thank you.